Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today I'm back with another video for you guys. Uh, I was trying to come up with something to do today and I actually thought, why don't I discuss a few sneaker holds? I'll do another sneaker investing video, but why don't I discuss a few that are easier to call? Like these are shoes that will go up in value. It's pretty much guaranteed. And I just kind of want to discuss how to hold them, the basics of it. Uh, and you know, it's not like anything really complicated, but I think you guys are going to like this video. So I hope you guys will enjoy. If you want more content like this, feel free to subscribe and like down below again, like going this video. How about we go for, let's say 212 likes. It's a weird goal, but let's see if we can do it. 212 random number. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy. Everything's down below again. Don't forget. And why don't we just get started right now? So the first one I want to discuss right off the bat, a very easy hold called the Dunk Low Archeo Pink. Now, this one has stopped dropping, and I really think in any sizes in particular, this one will be good. Go look at the price of the Laser Orange. Again, that's a woman's uh, Dunk Low, and go look at the price of that one. I mean, go look at the prices in smaller sizes even. They're going for way more than $180 here, $186 or $185. They're heading up towards $200. I think they might even... Uh, be in the $300 range at this point, but you can even see even the bigger sizes are undervalued. Uh, those ones will easily hit $350, $400 uh, just because, again, you're going to have guys going for those sizes too because a 12W and 11.5W, that converts to a size 10 and 10.5. And so, I mean, that's a pretty easy call right there. I definitely, uh, I think I'm getting refunded. I, I originally had four pairs on the, of these on the way and I'm getting refunded for them uh, today. Like, I'm pretty sure that just that's going down like right now. So yeah, but I had some pairs of these on the way. Would have been a great hold, but I mean, I'm still actually, I'll probably just take the money I get refunded from my original order on these and just buy them off somebody else and see what uh, I can do there. Because I mean, this is a pink dunk low. It's not really pink though. Like this is wearable. Uh, I mean, anybody could wear this. I, I wouldn't judge nobody for wearing this. You know, it's pink. I personally wouldn't wear it, but is it a fire colorway? Yeah, I'd probably go with something like the Dunk Low Bordeaux instead for my style, but this one, just wanna mention it. You can even go look, it's on the rise right now. It's just started making some great progress, but uh, it hasn't quite hit that like uh, normal style Dunk Low rise, if you know what I mean. Like most Dunk Lows just hit this insane kind of rise where they'll just rise like 50 to $100 in a week. And this one hasn't quite done that yet. You can see it's risen like 20 bucks here. And then you see it's on the slow little rise through November, December. And right now you can see maybe it's picking up a little bit, but that's just a day's worth of sales so i bet it will probably just you know flatten back out a little bit but i think this one definitely pick up on it before it catches some steam that's just my opinion and uh yeah you can see it's already making some progress and i've been mentioning this one before but that's why i want to mention it's an easier hold because dunks it's like no risk like just be patient and you will make money <laughs> it's zero risk with dunks harder to get yes but not risky at all so another one i'll mention after this the jordan 3 pine green now before my comment section says tristan now why are you mentioning a brick as a hold I actually want to say I was wrong about this shoe. And there's another pair of shoes that I previously mentioned as a great long-term hold, the Jordan uh, 3 Racer Blue. Those have been making some insane progress in December. Those have risen like 40, 50 bucks. They're at like 280, $300. So anybody who've held, who's held both pairs of those, like I'd mentioned in my previous sell or hold video on those, you're doing pretty solid. So, I mean, again, that was a lot of people, that was their own calls though. There was people like, yo, Tristan, I hope you're telling people, you know, to hold those bulk. And that's kind of how I feel about these. They've actually been making a little bit of progress. So you can see, look from 219 here, and you can see they're now up at 241, kind of 230. So through December, these have started to catch a little bit of hype. Like when I zoom in on the month chart, you can see that, like you can notice from right here to right here, that's that's significant. Like you can notice that it's rising. Like you don't have to like zoom in or really check it at any point to see if it's rising. And it's not just certain sizes. Of course, if you wanted to target certain ones, you would go for 12 plus or probably. Actually, yeah, that, those would be the only sizes I would personally target on this one to hold long term would be like 11 plus, not 12 plus, but yeah, 11 plus. That would be my personal, uh, you know, kind of range where I'd be targeting maybe like 11 through 14 on these ones or 15. Because, you know, there's people that wear, plenty of people that wear a size 15. You know, in Charlotte, it's not hard to get a sale on a size like that. You can sell it to a sneaker store. They'll buy those for sure. So that's kind of how I feel about this one. It's if you buy it bulk, you could buy the Jordan 3 Racer Blue 2 if you want also. I think that one still has a lot of room to grow. It's a very cool shoe in hand. Not my personal taste, but very nice in hand. And the colorway though, the colorway on those Racer Blues, that is super far for a pair of threes that blue and white i mean we all knew that was gonna happen i feel like and you know if we didn't now we know so yeah i just how I feel, that's just how i feel about these a pine green type colorway and actually not to mention it has a little bit of detail on the tongue here you got the gold kind of you know stitching around the uh green jump man so i like that but i think give these one some time long term i think these could be 350 at the end of the year 
uh, you know, next year. I think they definitely could be, you know, some sizes three, three hundred fifty dollars because it's pine green and they're not bad on foot. I've seen some pairs they actually look decent. And threes, you know, there, there's a good market for threes. There's a good group of people that buy them. So aside from that, aside from Jordan threes, I just want to get this one out the way. If you are not holding cool grays, this is probably the easiest hold of 2022. Uh, aside from, you know, any dunk low that drops, this is going to be the easiest hold of 2022. Uh, I mean, in terms, if you're willing to hold it to the end of the year, just think about the demand. I think these have over 70,000 sales already. Um, that might even be crossing into 80,000. Yeah, 72,000 sales. That is just, that's crazy. And these have been out for since the 11th. So not even a month yet, not even three weeks i don't think yeah not even really three weeks yeah not three weeks yet and these have already had seventy thousand sales on StockX alone so yes stock was high but you can see how these are doing in terms of price they're not really fading market's holding pretty decent right now obviously there might be some people selling them off and these might be dropping a little bit for the next week or two but if you just want to think about this one just give it time and yeah hold big and you'll benefit big this is a bulk hold want to get out of the way just easiest hold of 2022 once we hit and you know get into that year just probably i don't want to mention it anymore even just just know and it's not going to start rising immediately but it could rise sooner than i think because the demand is going to stay on these for very long until some sort of other big jordan retro comes in so well that's not even going to make the demand fade so the final one i'll mention and the reason i'm mentioning this one the nike dunk low retro white black or just the nike dunk low panda to keep it simple is because this one i have some information on these ones this one is going to be restocking five times in 2022 five times so that's what the information that i got for secret sauce five times so with that in mind after each restock you'll just be able to buy this one up and then hold it until the next restock and you'll be able to make some great money just kind of like easy slides you know how those are these ones are going to be restocking just kind of i feel like the yeezy slots were kind of on like a two to three month basis so every two three months you'll just be able to buy it for the low and sell it for the high i mean previously you can see how people did that look people would buy it right here at 250 and then look they'd sell it up here at 300 then the next restock would come in drop them down to 280 and then i mean that that, that, that pretty much only happened one time right there but you can see how it's really affected the market here you can see there was a restock uh, around the september point on some foot sites and then it dropped in price down to 250 and then right here december christmas time these are at the highest price they've been yet so i think heading into 2022 they will probably drop a little bit as we get rumors of restocks and then uh yeah you'll be able to buy it up after you know kind of the first time it happens will be the best opportunity by the time you get to that fourth or fifth restock these won't really be a hold unless you're thinking like super long term but i wouldn't even hold a plain dunk low like this for the long term again just that little two three month after the first second third restock that's all i'll be focusing on it so hopefully that'll come Come through and get 100 confirmed it's the info i got so hopefully it is legitimate and that's all i need to say right there and my easiest holds of 2022 just want to mention them that's a few of them there's plenty more i could mention but just some different ones i wanted to mention don't want to be repetitive so yeah we'll just kind of head into the outro if y'all want to check my instagrams any of that information down below that is all there i really appreciate you guys thank you all for the support we're almost at like 54k i think uh or it's either 53 or 54k i get i get caught up in the numbers i've also just been I've been focused on YouTube, but I've just been so focused on like the crypto space recently. I've been spending so much time on that. Um, and yeah, you know, I think that's really going to benefit me because I think we're going to go big there. It's going to do great. And then we're going to be able to put a lot more into our videos, which is just awesome. So just stay tuned for that. You know, just I'm happy because, you know, I think good things are coming. So I'm Tristan. Thank you all. I'll kind of end the screen record. Don't forget like goals 200 likes. I'm pretty sure I've already said subscribe like multiple times in this outro. So we're done with that. But if I haven't, it's on the screen. Uh, like 212 light goal or whatever. Yeah, we're getting messy now. So I'm ending the screen recording. Thank you all for watching. I'm Tristan. Leave any comments or questions you got, you know, down below. They'll be there. So yeah, love you all. And I'll catch you all in the next. Peace. <laughs>